just want to do a quick video on this. I picked this up at a thrift shop. Um, they're still around online. It's the Fostex MRA HT Digital Multi Tracker. I actually found two of them. One of them worked fine. This one, um, it just said, please wait when you started it up. I looked online, there's not loads of help, um, but someone inferred that it was probably the hard drive that was dead. So I took all the screws out at the back, um, and then you can see, lift, lift this up. Um, I'm trying to be careful here. Didn't notice anything untoward. So this is obviously the hard drive. I pulled these things out. So this, this cable bit here and this bit here both come out. And I just basically looked on eBay for this exact hard drive and found it online for $10 um, and bought a new one. And lo and behold, it works absolutely great. Um, I wanted to see if it worked on my Mac. It's a new M1 Mac. Wasn't hugely convinced that would be possible, but actually it is possible. So USB lead, it's one of those old like printer leads, goes into USB, goes through my um, my little adapter, my Pergo adapter I've got there. Yeah, go down to USB, USB device mode. It says, please wait on here. And then what happened on my Mac was it comes up, it's MRA HD. And I was like, oh, amazing, it's all gonna work. Look here. These are the WAVs all bounced out individually, individual tracks. And basically double clicked on them and it says WAV empty. If you use um, the default player on your Mac or even in Logic, it says empty. Now a solution for that is VLC. I'm sure most of you know about that. Download VLC and it plays in there fine. I mean, you can just convert that to a WAV within there and it works fine. So I've loaded them up in Logic and no problem at all. Feel free to ask me any questions.